Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hope you guys are doing amazing, Sagittarius. For those of you guys that have been with us for quite a while, welcome back. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can show us some love. And so you don't miss the next uh, videos going up. I know that we have, I've been getting a lot of emails in regards to spell work videos. Um, we've been extremely busy with uh, personal cases. And whenever we're extremely busy, it's very difficult. As you guys know, recording is very time consuming. Um, but I will be uploading tons of new videos for spells, as well as the video that has been requested uh, to consecrate and ritualize the sheep's heart. Gold heart. Um, so we have tons of those videos going up, so you guys stay tuned to that. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of June 2021. Okay, Spirit gets what are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of June 2021. Let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the Four of Wands. The Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, and the Prince of Wands. Okay, so off the bat, I see someone missed an opportunity. Uh, this could have been you, Sagittarius, feeling like uh, you missed an opportunity um, to connect with someone that you were actually very invested in or emotionally invested in. Uh, four of Wands does represent uh, walking towards or wanting the manifestation of long, long-term long stability. Um, right at the center, we have the Five of Cups. So I feel you guys being a little bit like over the top in your emotions this month. Um, the Six of Pentacles is here. So I feel that for some of you guys, you could have had a connection with someone where you felt the pull and the connection very strong. Um, and I feel that you could have acted in a way of not fully thinking. Um, okay, so I'm getting two different storylines. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with someone um, where there was some type of break, some type of separation from the partner that you're currently with. Um, through this transition, there was a refusal to embrace that ending. And a new person could have showed up in your life. You could have met a person around this time frame where there was some type of separation, some type of emotional turmoil. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles, could have been an Earth energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I also see water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, and of course, uh, fire energy. Uh, Sagittarius like yourself, a Leo, or an Aries. However... What they're showing me here is with the Six of Pentacles, there could have been almost like a wanting to move forward in this connection because it was a strong connection. If you guys can see here, we have the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. But there was some type of hesitation or things that were not fully balanced from a previous relationship. So again, like I said, it's almost like you met this person right when you guys were or you guys could have been in separation or some type of distancing from a previous relationship. And instead of embracing, fully embracing this new beginning, um, there was hesitation uh, because of the, the feeling of the connection that was very strong. And there was almost like a pulling away. Uh, with the Four of Cups could have been f feeling like you had a lot of responsibilities um, around the situation. Children could be involved here uh, as well. So for some of you guys, it could have been going back to a relationship because there's children involved. However, I do see you guys um, feeling like you made the wrong choice or feeling like you want to backtrack the decision that you made. Um, it could have been almost like dealing with an ongoing cycle 
of instability in a relationship for those of you guys that are connecting with this message i feel that for some of you guys you've been dealing with this connection for quite a while and it's almost like it seems like you guys can't just get it together um so that period in time where there was some type of distancing or some type of separation was for you to fully embrace a new beginning and for some of you guys you refuse that going back to the relationship that you're in right now but now you're starting to see that there's a lot of unhappiness there is a lot of restlessness or feeling like again there was a missed opportunity however in the month of june i see you guys really formulating a way to go towards a new beginning a new moving forward making a decision uh, for some of you guys going towards this new connection with the ace of cups here um, if you've been hesitant or if you've been too much in your head about it, I feel that the month of June is going to push you towards that new beginning. Um, and I see you much more confident or being in your power deciding. I see you guys being very decisive. Um, for others of you, you may still be dealing with a situation where there is some type of commitment or some type of relationship here that is like a wanting to fix what is already broken for some of you guys it's acknowledging that you're best off pulling away from this from this relationship that may uh keep you from truly being able to experience happiness uh, i i'm hearing a lot of responsibility so for some of you guys it could be the fact that there is children involved for others of you it could just represent that those around you are constantly reminding you of the responsibilities that you have and there's this feeling of feeling alone it's almost like being in a relationship but feeling like you're still alone or like you're facing the world on your own and there is a lot of unhappiness here with the five of cups and the four of cups it's it's about not fully being able to see the blessings uh, that spirit is bringing to you it's like you're dwelling on what has been done or what has transpired in the past um, that missed opportunity or the constant giving the opportunity to a person that is refusing to change and instead of looking at what spirit is trying to bring towards you um, there's a lot of frustration there's a lot of feeling of not being able to fully move forward but again like i said i feel that june is going to definitely give you guys that push that you need to be more confident in yourself and uh, to know and understand that you deserve to be happy and that you deserve to be loved and to be um be treated you know with with, with the same devotion that you come into relationships um for some of you guys it could be working out the final details of some type of separation uh, for some of you guys, this could be child support. This could be figuring out, um, you know, co-parenting, that type of energy. But I do see you guys going towards a new beginning. What they're telling you here, um, Sagittarius, is for the month of June, it's going to be very important for you guys to um, really embrace these new beginnings. Uh, stop being so much in your head about it and start taking action towards embracing this new cycle in your life um for those of you guys that are single i definitely do see a new connection coming through um and it may be someone that you've already met it may be someone that uh, becomes single they they could be potentially coming out of a relationship that was uh very one-sided where they were putting a lot of effort a lot of energy in this connection and they're finally pulling away from that and moving towards a new beginning and again like i said it could be a person that you already know so it could be a friend it could be almost like a situation of being there for them while they're doing this healing without really realizing or understanding that the circumstances are bringing you guys together because there is a purpose there there is some type of fulfillment that will come from that connection a deepening of a connection uh, so very beautiful energy here I'm going to be pulling out an oracle card to see what Spirit's Direct message is for you for this month of June 2021. 
for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I see you guys doing really well when it comes to your finances. June is going to be very prosperous for you. Um, make sure to take opportunities that come your way, Sagittarius, when we're talking about career and finances. Uh, this could be taking on more responsibility, but don't shy away from that because this is definitely going to bring to you more abundance, more prosperity. Now, your oracle card here is number 33, and this is all to do with success. This is security. Uh, this is certainty more than anything. And what they're saying is whatever problems are currently you're currently going through, there will be solutions that unfold for you this month. Sagittarius, um, this is about being able to embrace new beginnings and being able to get to a point where you look back and you understand why you had to go through all these struggles. Uh, 33 is always, like I said, success. So I see that for some of you guys that, you know, have been very much in your head uh, in regards to a situation where you were emotionally invested in someone and you felt like you missed that opportunity. This month of June may actually open up the possibilities to be able to create something or to reconnect, to restart. There's almost like a, a restarted button um, that you're able to revisit that connection and moving forward, if you approach it in a genuine way, there is success that's coming from that connection. So again, uh, in any endeavor with career and finances, like I said, even if it means taking on more responsibilities, don't shy away from that Sagittarius. Stay focused because there is success for you here. So very beautiful energy. I wish, um, I wish you guys the very best. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.